everybody. This year, we're going to do deep pit turkey as well as deep fried. But I'm going to show you guys a few things and a few steps on how to prepare your turkey before we actually put it in the deep pit. As you can see right now, we're preparing some coals. We're burning up the deep pit. Later on tonight, this thing will be halfway full with coals and then we can drop the birds in there. It's gonna be fun. Oh, by the way, it's the same guy as before, except I lost a lot of weight. I've been working out and I have a diet. I'll later on put a recipe on the diet so you guys know how to lose a lot of weight real good. Okay guys, and by the way, tonight we're burning, we're starting off our fire with regular pine and then we put a little bit of cherry on top because that increases the heat. And then I end up loading it with almond because almond is, smells delicious and it tastes delicious. But almond is basically what's going to keep our coals in there tonight, you know, and burning up our, our turkeys. It's going to be great. It smells amazing. We're having a lot of fun on it. Okay guys, in the meantime, while we're waiting for this fire to burn, all this wood needs to burn. We have to have some coals for about two to three hours. And in the meantime, we have to wet our sacks. Remember, you gotta get some potato sacks, caddy sacks, you know, those sacks. And uh, put them in a bucket with water and soak them. They cannot go in there dry because they'll burn right away. Soaking will actually help and it'll actually also bring up some fuel, bring up some um, vapor in there steaming as well as cooking remember to always leave this soaking and then before we use then we pull them out but we got to soak them for a few hours as well okay guys so we're gonna prepare this turkey for the deep pit and we're gonna do a little bit injecting with Creole butter I like to inject it several places as you can see we do it like around eight times on the breast because the breast is the one that comes out the most dry and then a couple a couple of times on the leg I like to do one side of the leg and then another side of that side and then on the inside And then we flip the bird over. Now we're going to do a little bit of the wing and the back. So I grab the wing from, I like to do it like that. Remember not to stick your needle straight down because sometimes it doesn't work. It's better to do it, you know, like that, long ways. And then you put more juice inside. And try to find where there's more muscle, more meat. Not where there's bones because you're not going to get much flavor in there. Put some I'll rub on it. I'll, I'll do I'll both. Mayonnaise. I'll put some rub and then I'll put mayonnaise. Remember, Pappy's. Pappy's rub is the best one. Don't worry if you think you're putting too much of it. It doesn't matter because once you pull this bird out, it's actually gonna just come right off the bone and it's all gonna go on everything, even the inside and the outside. So I put some pepper and I put some pappies and some mayonnaise. Remember, you're gonna use this mayonnaise just for this. You don't wanna use it again for other stuff. Look at that, look at that beauty. on 
this first. When I'm done with mayonnaise and rub, then I put the rub again. Let's see. And the mayonnaise is to keep the skin moist. When you're cooking it, you don't want the skin to dry up and to mess up. So we're going to put onions and oranges inside this turkey. I use about two onions, three um, oranges, and like two sticks of butter because we want to keep this turkey moist and you want to keep it you know, with a lot of good flavor on it. And you also, you can spread a little bit of this orange on top of the skin because you're going to put more, more mayonnaise or, and more, um, more of that seasoning on it. Remember, you don't ever, you can't go wrong with the with the amount of seasoning because it'll all it'll all go down. It'll all just break when when you take it off the, you know, take it out of the hole. It's just gonna break, and it's and just gonna taste amazing. Okay, after you're done stuffing your turkey, you can always cover it up with the extra skin that's around the neck area. And after you cover it up like that, then you finish off by putting a little more mayonnaise and seasoning in case it's falling off the uh, turkey. You can do that because in the process sometimes it just falls off. So put some mayonnaise, put some seasoning again. A lot of this juice just falls off the tray, into the tray, and the tray's not going in the deep pit. Just the bird. Okay. And next, we're gonna put this inside the bag. So, put this inside this bag. Hold the bag there for a minute. Yeah, let's remove that. And then put it flat this way. Now we just throw a little more over here. Okay, that's done. Great. And remember whenever you when before you put this inside its burlap sack and the aluminum always keep the turkey chest up because it's always best to cook your turkey with the chest up that's important try to remove as much air as you can from the baggie we're going to start preparing the aluminum foil because um, it's better if you have them laid it out before you start wrapping it that way it's easier to wrap so I, I always put you know I put them like zigzag or crossed or whatever that way you can actually you know just wrap it much faster so this one this one's yours so we're gonna do this one first all right so basically you put your bird on top of the paper the aluminum paper and then you Cover it up.
So now we're gonna add the burlap sack on our turkey, along with the paper bag and the um, aluminum and the oven bag. Remember, this this has to stay wet. You basically you gotta soak it in water because this this is gonna be moist when it goes inside the hole, and then. Um, it can't be dry. If it's dry, it, it, everything's just gonna flame up. So basically, that's why you gotta soak it. <laughs> Wrap your burlap sack and your bird with wire, you can purchase at any hardware store. You basically gotta go around it a couple of times. I do it like this, that way, because you're gonna need to have a good grip when you, when you drop this down, you gotta leave some standing up, like, like this. So much, you know, so you can drop it down. And so you can cut it and make yourself a little, a little loop up here. So you can drop it down. See, that's what I do right there. See? Like that. Okay. You're also going to have to pull it later on on your deep pit. You're going to pull it out the same way. So it's better just to make this yourself a handle before you do that. All right, turkeys inside the hole. We're gonna lay them flat, you know, side by side. We're gonna try to fit them all on on, on the on the just flat, nothing on top of each other, because then it'll have to take longer and more cold. But as soon as we do that, we gotta cover up the hole quick and throw some dirt on it and seal seal the seal the the steam, so we don't want any smoke to come out or anything. So ready? We've been burning up uh, a bunch of wood. We used almond, and for about three hours. And I, I think I stacked up about a, a foot and a half of coals. That should be good enough to actually put this turkeys in there. Look, and that's how beautiful it looks, see that? That's coals right there. That's ambers. Ready? So now we're gonna put this in there quick and do this right. One, two, three. Okay, I'll put this one on the side here. Lay that one there. It's like that, yeah. And then that one right there. Perfect, now let's cover it up. Put those babies in like that. Grab your shovels, guys. Yes, oh, yeah. Okay. And one important thing we have to remember is that you don't want any smoke to come out, so we have to. Flatten it out and even walk on it. Be careful. Huh? Yeah. If you see any smoke come out, you have to seal those edges. Because when smoke comes out, that actually means your food can get burnt inside. The oxygen. The oxygen. So luckily it was raining because if it wasn't, if the dirt would have been dry, then we would have actually had to wet it down with some water, water hose and, you know, make it more like mud so it could cover the top and, and cover all the steam and everything. But um, typically I leave like that amount of meat, you know, one layer, I leave it, I leave it cooking for about 12 hours. My thing about cooking in the deep pit is that you don't want to cook, undercook it. So you don't want to do less than 12 hours. 12 hours is great. That's enough, and it's, it's not it's not gonna burn anything. It's not it's not too much time. But when you do like 10 hours or six hours, then you're thinking about less meat, and you're thinking about you know maybe some smaller, you know, not one layer. When you want more hours, then typically I'll leave it for more time. You know, if you're gonna actually add more layers, you gotta actually put more time on that. 
But 12 hours for one layer is fine because these turkeys are big. Okay, so now we're gonna take these turkeys out, out of the deep pit. We're gonna unbury all this dirt. And uh, it's been about 10 hours. I'm hoping that they're, they're good, but a friend of mine told me to take them out like around 10, 10 or 11 hours. And uh, if they're not fully cooked, we can always put them in the oven. But more than likely, they'll probably be fully cooked. So, wish, wish us luck. Ready? Dos, tres. Yeah! Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna open this, this burlap sack and this turkey see what we got. I want to check it out. Okay. You could rip it off, you could cut it off in many ways, but of course this sack is not going to be used again. That's for sure. Oh, I can feel it. The skin is crispy. Maybe I'll cut it, cut it open. Oh no, here, we could do this just so we can see. Cut it open by hand, just the aluminum right here. I'll wrap this gift. Let's open this bird up and find out how's everything inside. It looks like a big old potato. I'm going to find out the beauty. Underneath this aluminum, we'll have that, that oven bag, that turkey bag. Ooh, yeah. This turkey bag looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can see all these juices right here. How about that? I might actually put this turkey on the tray. So that we won't lose any of that. Oh my goodness. So now let's open up this bag and see what we got. I can already tell this is fully cooked. This is nicely cooked inside. And look at all that juice. That's juice. You might want to transfer some of this juice like in a pot with a cup or something because it's already overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to take it off, off the tray and we're going to put it in the serving tray. It smells so good. Oh my God, look. It just, it just falls right off the bones. Look at this. Look at this beauty. This is amazing right here. What and, and look look how simple how easy it just falls right off the, the bone. Look at the corpus right there. Look at that. Amazing. And it smells amazing. Hello.